The audio settings can be configured for all videos in the audio panel. All the settings in the audio panel will be applied to all videos. We also can configure audio settings for each video by selecting a video and opening the audio tracks external audio tracks dialog. Here we can select enable audio or no audio, if no audio is selected, the rendered videos will have only a video track and no audio tracks. If the extract audio button is active, the audio tracks will be saved to uncompressed audio files with the same file name as the video. Extracting audio works also as the audio is disabled, in that case, the video will have only the video track, and the audio tracks will be saved to audio files. In the audio conversions we can convert the audio sample rate, the audio bits per sample, and the audio channels. For example, to convert the sample rate to 48,000 Hz and keep the same bits per sample and channels, simply select 48,000 Hz as sample rate. The audio advance or delay allows to adjust the audio tracks in case the audio is not synchronized with the video. When preparing videos for broadcasting or online sites like YouTube, the audio may be subject to loudness restrictions. To activate the audio loudness normalization filter, check the button loudness normalization. We can enter the loudness normalization values directly. Or we can select a presets for most common audio loudness normalization requirements. The loudness range can also be entered or selected from the recommended values. The audio loudness normalization filter performs two passes over the audio. When the filter is active the processing server will render the first pass only for the audio, and then the final video rendering will start. When previewing videos, the loudness normalization filter is disabled. Here we can select the internal audio tracks from the videos that will be processed. We also can add up to 8 external audio tracks from audio files, and if the silence button is activated, then a silent audio track will be added to the final videos. For example, to process only the first or the second internal audio track from the source videos, select only the first or the second audio track. Or for removing all the audio tracks from source videos and add an external track, unselect all internal audio tracks and activate the external audio track. This internal and external audio tracks configuration in the audio panel is applied to all videos. We can also configure the audio tracks for each video separately by selecting one or more videos, and open the Select Audio Tracks External Audio Tracks dialog. This video has two audio tracks, here we can remove one or both internal audio tracks for processing. And also we can add external audio tracks only to this video. If the silence button is active a silent audio track will be added. When selecting video trimmings, the internal audio tracks are cut from the position of the trim. If the seek button is activated, the external audio track will also be cut from the position of the trim, and if not activated, the external audio track will be added from the beginning of the track. When performing frame rate conversions or slow motion, the internal audio is stretched to match the new video duration. If the button stretch is activated, the external audio track will be stretched like the internal tracks, and if not activated, the external audio track will be added without stretching. Finally, we can extract the internal audio tracks directly to audio files without processing the videos. To extract the audio tracks from a video, select it and open the Extract Audio Tracks from the menu. Then select the audio tracks to extract, and press the OK button. Also, we can extract the audio channels of a video track to mono audio files. Just select Extract Audio Channels from the menu. And then select the video track to extract the channels. All the channels from the track will be saved as mono audio files. Thanks for watching.